Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, we are doing a Cardboard Coat Check. We are going to check this game in, and before we do that, we're going to have to open up the box to see what's in there, just to make sure there's nothing hazardous in there, just to take a peek at what's inside. So we are going to take a look at Lost Cities Rivals from Thames and Cosmos, which question for Thames and Cosmos. Why does I always only say Cosmos on your games, not Thames? But anyway, Thames and Cosmos. Uh, this is a review copy. Thames and Cosmos was cool enough to send this to me when I requested some other review games. They were like, hey, is there anything else you want to check out? And Deanna and I are a huge fan of the original Lost Cities, which we used to play a lot downtown Windsor. So this is going to be a first look at the two to four player version of Lost Cities. The original is a four, uh, two player only game. Uh, I have not seen the inside of this box. I don't know what's in here. This is my first time seeing it. And I'm recording this live. So thank you anyone who's joining us here on Twitch. Uh, so you can see my see and hear my thoughts live as I see this game for the first time. Same as you're seeing it. Uh, if you do dig what you're seeing, uh, make sure you hit the follow, subscribe, thumbs up, do all those fun things that us creators love to see that validates what we're doing head over to tabletopbellhop.com where you can find all kinds of gaming content, including other unboxing videos, actual plays, reviews, news, and answers to your gaming questions. We're trying to be a dear Abby for gamers. If you've got a question, send that to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or head over to that blog I just mentioned, tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop. All right, enough self-promotion. We are gonna move on to unboxing Lost Cities. So I'm just gonna tip the camera down a bit here so you don't have to see me anymore and we can focus on the game. So step one, we are gonna remove the shrink wrap. I am just using a hobby knife for this just cause it's gonna make things a little bit quicker. So Lost Cities, Rivals. Use your cards to venture down expedition routes and take you to far flung and mysterious corners of the earth to an abandoned mountain temple, a decaying circle of stone, a city sunken under the sea, an ancient stone age settlement and a town inside of a mountain. Your goal is to plan the routes in such a way that they bring you the greatest possible fame. And if you're especially daring, you will also be able to wager on the success of your own expedition. But watch out, you're not the only one traveling. Which routes will you pursue and how much gold is it worth to you? Plan well and use your resources widely. Only the player who has collected the most fame at the end of the game is the winner. For two to four players, ages 10 and up, 40 minute playtime, strategy two out of five, luck three out of five, bidding five out of five, wagering five out of five. So a quick look at the back of the box here. And I think for the next video, I will do that before I tip the camera down. So here's what we have in the box. We start off with a rule book. We're gonna take a quick look, it's fairly thin. We are looking at a grand total of seven pages. No cover, I see lots of color art. I see black text on light backgrounds. That is something I am always a fan of. But examples of cards, got some nice looking boxes here. Artwork on the edges is kind of a nice touch. Each page has been different art, different colors. Having not read this, looks like a solid enough rule book. Uh, this is by Rainier Nitzia, one of the best named known games in ga names in gaming. We have some tokens here, some bunch boards. Uh, you can tell just how easy these are to punch by the fact that one's already fallen out. I'm gonna pop one, pop nice and easy. Decent thickness here. And then we have cards. That's about all I was expecting from this game. Uh, pretty basic box insert here with a spot for your cards. No specific spot for the money once we punch it out, but that should be fine. It's not like we're gonna need a lot going on here. So we are gonna open up the card since this is a card game and I'm sure you wanna see what's in here because there's not gonna be much else to look at. So again, I'm just grabbing my hobby knife. Uh, there does not seem to be any like cigarette pack. Oh, there is. There isn't easy to open. Oh, there we go. Didn't even need the knife. Flipping through really quick to see what I can see here to show you. Okay, we do have two different types of cards. We're gonna go by the backs. So we have a one card, which I am assuming is some type of first player card, two-sided. We'll toss that in the box. We have a bunch of brown cards here. These were your expedition cards in the old game, what you would use to bid on each of your routes. 
These are probably in player colors. That would be my guess. Or they're in the rope colors. There are two in each color. Then we will have, then we have more that aren't color coded. So, so we have the similar symbol here. We have three blues this time. Then we should have numbered cards in blue. I'm gonna slide through these pretty quickly because art's fairly nice for what it is. We got some glare there. Let's try not to get the glare. Underwater shot there with some fish. We got, oh, I like that. Not all the numbers are the same. You got like a Poseidon statue here to explore. The 10, so each of those numbers is different. So it's not like all the blue cards are the same. Uh, we're now moving on to the green cards. You got some forested areas. There's symbols on the bottom, which I think is gonna be well appreciated by colorblind friends. So not only are the cards colored, there is a unique symbol on the bottom of every card. I dig the artwork for what it is, right? It's it's sites you're exploring. What do you expect in a card game about, you know, archaeology and site exploration? There's no fantasy elements to this game. Shouldn't see any dragons or anything. So we have some caves, some cave paintings. We're obviously in like a desert or sandy terrain at this point. We have our first person in a picture. There we go. I really like that one, actually. I'm reminded slightly of Magic the Gathering Land. Ooh, another one. I really like the red cards. The red art wins. Red art's the best art. I don't know what the footprints are at the top. That is something that's definitely different from the original game. Oh, I like that one, too. Yeah, the red art. Red art for the win. If I was playing this game, I'd have a hard time not focusing on red. Gray, bleak statues, lots of stone, a rope bridge that's crumbling. Uh, this is cool art. The, the further I go, the cooler the art is. You got someone actually mountain climbing. Card thickness is decent. Um, these are not varnished in any way. They're not overly slippery. Uh, for those of people who have watched some of my other videos, I've complained about the cards being overly slippery. They, they stack nice. They're not linen finish or anything like that. They don't have any like texture. They're just smooth. Pretty much standard card width. You can kind of see that there. There's a significant number of them, obviously. Rather large deck. Because you got numbers 1 through 10 in each suit and multiples of some of the numbers. Like It looks like there's two twos in each deck. There you go. That's it. Not a lot to see in Lost Cities Rivals. I'm really hoping, though, because Lost Cities is one of my favorite two-player games of all time, that the gameplay is going to stand up. That you don't need fancy components for a good game. And I'm hoping this is a good example of that. So that is Lost Cities Rivals from Thames and Cosmos. All right, I don't have a lot more to say on this one. Uh, small box game. I don't know the MSRP offhand, but I know it's not huge. A two to four player version of Lost Cities, which is a really neat card game, math based, trying to predict what your other players have, some card counting involved, push your luck elements, really dig it. Looking forward to checking out the fourth four player version of this. Components are what I expected. You've got some chips, which are interesting because the original game didn't have any money or monetary components. So you got some, it looks like gold coins. And then you got a bunch of cards. Not much more than you would expect from a game like this. And component qualities, excuse me, the component quality is just good, just as good as I expect. So that's it for today's cardboard coat check of Lost Cities from Thames and Cosmos. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel for other unboxing videos as well as actual plays as well as reviews and in the coming weeks you'll probably see a review for lost cities if it's not live already also be sure to check out tabletopbellhop.com for all kinds of other gaming content and if you like the content you've just seen or the other stuff you see on our sites head over to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping the bellhop for tabletop bellhop this has been a cardboard coat check i am mo tuzno the tabletop bellhop good night and game on